Alright. So you want to put a picture in your PowerPoint slide and it should have no background color. The easiest way to do that is to search for a transparent image from the web. Then copy it and paste it to your slide and you're done. However, this is not as easy as it looks. Even when you specifically specify transparent in your search keywords, many pictures in your search result is still opaque. And worse, many of the pictures here are fake transparent. Like this one, which looks very transparent, but when you use it, it turns out that it only has a white and grey checkered background, just to make it look like transparent. And these can literally drive a person really mad or crazy. Another option is to download a picture with a plain one color background, paste it in your slide, then go to the picture format ribbon tab, or double clicking the picture will also take you to that same tab. Then expand the color ribbon, and click the set transparent color. Now just click on the color that you want to be transparent. And there you go. The apple with white background is now transparent. However, this way is not efficient since you can only choose one color here to be transparent. For example in this picture's background which looks like just a plain blue-green color, but when you apply the set transparent color to it, it turns out that it has more than one shades of blue-green. And since we can only choose one color to be transparent, it cannot make the whole background transparent, but only one shade of that blue-green color. And worse, if we have this type of picture where the background is black, and the subject, the man, also has a lot of black colors in it, when we try to set the color black to be transparent, we will get this. Horrible. Since we choose color black to be transparent, it will make all the blacks, regardless if it is the background or the subject, transparent. With all that given information, imagine how much more difficult it will be if you have a background like this one. With so many different shades of color, it literally makes the set transparent color useless. Fortunately, PowerPoint provides a much better way of removing the background of any picture. Just click the picture you want to edit, then go ahead to the Picture Format ribbon tab again. Then click the Remove Background Color. This will automatically detect the subject from the selected picture and choose everything else to be transparent. The area highlighted in purple are the ones to be removed in the picture. As you can see, the subject selection process of PowerPoint is not always perfect, so we need to manually clean up the selection. From the Background Removal ribbon tab, you will see several options which we can use for the manual adjustments. This option here is Mark Areas to Keep. Let's click that, and then let's draw a line on an area in the picture that we want to keep, or those that we don't want to be removed. I'll just draw a line in the hair of the kid here, since we want that to remain in the picture. Let's also do the same in the lower body parts of the kid. There we go. Now we have areas that needs to go which are currently not selected to be transparent. To manually select them, let's click on the mark areas to remove ribbon. Then we also start drawing lines on the areas we want to remove. Just like what we did earlier, just selecting the opposite areas now. There we go. Just add some more transparent area around the hair here. There are always tricky areas for subject selection, so this might not be the best example. But let's do the best we can. When you are done refining the selection, just click the key changes ribbon to apply. There we go. We now have transparent picture of a kid carrying a chicken. Great. Let's do another sample here, which is probably a lot easier since this does not involve hair. Click the picture, then go to the picture format ribbon tab. Then remove background. Selection is automatic. Now refine the selection by using the mark areas to keep or mark areas to remove ribbons. Just draw a line to select the subject to background to remove. Just some more finishing touches here on the leaf. OK. When you're finished refining the selection, just click the keep changes ribbon and you're done. Now, you can go crazy creative on the pictures you just edited. Maybe we make it look like someone is giving the boy an apple. And maybe let's add a new background here to make it look like the boy is in a chicken poultry and just happens to pick up one of the chickens. There you go. The picture of the boy carrying a chicken in a field now has a totally different vibe and theme now. Alright. I hope this helps. Before, I used to edit the picture in Photopea or Photoshop just to remove the background the use the edited picture in my slides. Now, you can easily do all of that built in within PowerPoint and it is really easy too. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Noba Air.